They were apparently just out for a walk when it turned horrific. San Antonio firefighters jump in to try and save an elderly couple from being mauled to death. The 80 year old was killed in the attack. His wife in critical condition at the sour. Are they yours? Yep. Get them away from us. These are good me. Possibly killed another person. Get them away from us. A horrific scene. An elderly man mauled and killed this afternoon by two dogs. And we do want to warn you, the details and the video we're about to show you are hard to watch. This is part of the video, part of that attack that we can show you. The bloody scene unfolding in front of witnesses on Deplis Street off of Couples Road on the west side. Firefighters say they had to use their emergency tools just to try to get these dogs away from the man they had mauled just feet away. Yeah, his body behind that trash can. Patty Santos on the scene where she has been talking to neighbors who are just getting word that a man was killed. In many ways, Patty, I have to think this is their worst nightmare. Yeah, and as horrific as this attack was, they tell me they have been living in fear for a very long time of being attacked by these dogs. And now they, they're angry that an 80 year old man and his wife were mauled by these dogs. Take a look. This is a video that a neighbor took uh, the two dogs going after firefighters and basically firefighters just pulled up and started a rescue to keep the dogs away from the victims. A firefighter was also bitten and a fourth person was taken to the hospital with a hand bite. Chief Hood says this was such an out of the ordinary call. It was even traumatic for his crew. Firefighters were very heroic in this instance, um, fighting off these pit bulls with pickaxes and uh, pike poles to try to get to the patients. Uh, during that time, one of the, the captain on the ladder was bitten in the leg. Uh, thankfully, he is okay. Unfortunately, we do have two um, uh, people that were mauled by these dogs. And uh, just about an hour ago, the two dogs were taken away by ACS. While well, the investigation is underway, a third dog was also taken away from the home. But uh, the dogs have already bitten people in the past. And ACS says the dogs were returned after they were quarantined. Uh, they've also tell us that they've been called to this neighborhood about uh, complaints dealing with dogs. Coming up at six, you're going to hear from a woman who says her son was bitten by these dogs and she's angry that it took someone dying for these dogs to be removed from this neighborhood. We'll send it back to you. Tonight, a new neighbor is coming forward saying that they also witnessed the dogs attack a different victim. This was back in July. Yeah, they want answers on why those dogs were initially taken from their owner, then returned despite multiple complaints of bites. The night team's Patty Santos breaks down today's big story. The man's walking and the dogs just come from behind and they're running like and they just attack them. Deborah Flores says the surveillance video is from January. Flores says that's her and her son trying to scare away the pack of dogs attacking that man. My son heard him and he got like his Orbi gun and started shooting the dogs to to go away and it worked. But I mean, luckily the man just got like a bit on his leg. Flores says it is the same group of dogs that mauled an 81 year old man. Animal Care Services says two of the dogs in today's attack bit someone earlier this year. But ACS has not confirmed if this video is of that January incident. Tonight, Flores is demanding accountability from the owners. Take responsibility. Your dogs killed somebody. Investigators say the elderly man was able to protect his wife, who was taken to the hospital with injuries. They say the dog also bit a firefighter on the foot and a good Samaritan in the hand. Firefighters were very heroic in this instance, um, fighting off these pit bulls with pickaxes and uh, pike poles to try to get to the patients. Three pit bulls were taken away from this home on Depla Street near Couple after the attack. All three dogs will be euthanized tonight. In 2021, mordió a mi hijo. Sylvia Avila says the dogs have a history of biting multiple people around the neighborhood, including her own son on his property. Nadie ha hecho nada. Yo me encargo de hacer los follow-ups. Nadie ha hecho nada. Todo el neighborhood está espantado. She says efforts to get officials to do something have been ignored. ACS is leading the investigation with the help of SAPD. They report multiple contacts with the dog owners. By state law, unless there is an affidavit or a severe bodily injury case or something like that, again, those, those bites were mild. Uh, 
so those animals finished their state required quarantine and uh, the owner paid, paid reclaim fees and by state law we were required to return those animals. The city says it's providing counseling to the residents who witnessed the tragic scene and first responders. Seeing as far as how they battle these dogs, um, a couple of firefighters are emotionally probably scarred from this. And tonight, police tell us there are multiple charges pending in connection with this case. I also got a, a chance to talk to a woman who tells me she knows the couple. They tell she tells me they were there to visit her mother and they were returning back to their car when they were attacked. Steve, Stephanie. Thank you, Patty. Still so many questions about this case. Now, ACS Animal Care Services confirmed three calls for service involving at least two of the dogs. That includes two confirmed bite cases in September of 2021 and January of this year. ACS says both incidents involved mild or moderate injuries. The dogs also completed a state required quarantine before being returned to their owners. Now ACS says that the people involved declined to file a dangerous dog designation, which would have placed more restrictions on the owners. SAPD also spoke with the owners while responding to a dog related call in November of last year. ACS says the owners were told the dogs have to be kept in the yard. The city of San Antonio is now investigating whether the dogs were involved in any additional calls to 911 or 311. Obviously, dogs experience trauma the same way kids experience trauma, the same way people experience trauma. And these dogs were made aggressive. After dogs killed a man and hurt three others on the west side, neighbors say authorities should hold the dog's owners responsible for the brutal mauling. In the last two hours, Ken's Five has confirmed prosecutors are reviewing the case and could file criminal charges. Animal Care Services will euthanize all three dogs tonight. Matt Houston is at University Hospital now where a woman is in critical condition recovering from bite wounds. Matt? Yeah, EC's doctors are treating that elderly woman for serious injuries. She is one of four people who required hospital care after that attack earlier this afternoon, including the man who died. Medics actually gave him a whole blood transfusion. That is the same way they would treat, for example, a mass shooting victim. So that should give you some idea of just how gruesome this attack was. When first responders arrived, they say dogs were dragging a victim along the sidewalk. <laughs> Firefighters used pickaxes to distance themselves from the Staffordshire Terriers, which looked like smaller pit bulls. These men stood between the attacking animals and medics tending to the victims. A couple of firefighters are emotionally probably scarred from this. Physically hurt, too. One dog bit a fire captain in the leg, though he should be okay. The heroes really were the firemen today. Sylvia Hernandez's mom lives next door. She says the same dogs bit her brother in 2021. If you're a dog owner, I'm a dog owner, you know that dogs will be however you train them to be. Animal Care Services confirms they put at least two of the three dogs in the pound after two prior bitings. But those victims' wounds weren't serious enough to keep the animals impounded or put them down. And since no one offered investigators a sworn statement about either incident, the owners paid a fine and got their dogs back. What's it going to take next? We have a lot of um, elderly people and dogs and, and kids walk our neighborhoods all the time and just for them to get bit for doing nothing. Deborah Flores has video of the dogs acting aggressively toward a stranger in January. Her son shot at the animals with a pellet gun to scare them away. Just take responsibility. Take responsibility. Your dogs killed somebody. So again, ACS will put all three of those dogs down tonight. In total, one person dead, another hospitalized with serious injuries here at University Health. The dogs also bit another person in the hand and the fire captain in the leg. The city has sent over a counselor to that neighborhood to try and provide some therapy for some of the residents there. We're live in the Medical Center, I'm Matt Houston, Kins 5. Thank you, Matt. New We're not these people that everybody's making us out to be. Her husband arrested on felony charges after a dog attack killed an elderly man. Now she's speaking out in hopes of protecting her family. News 4 San Antonio's Chelsea Thoughtis brings you the very latest in this tragic story. It not only traumatized me, I know it traumatized my husband, but it took somebody's father, somebody's husband. Days after dogs mauled 81-year-old Ramon Nahedas to death and injured his wife and two others, 
Abilene Moreno, wife of suspect Christian Moreno and owner of the dogs, is speaking out. We're sorry. From me, my husband, my kids, we're sorry. According to San Antonio Police and Animal Care Services, two of Moreno's dogs have been involved in previous bite incidents, one in January. Moreno says her dogs were quarantined with ACS after January's attack. An arrest affidavit shows ACS required the Morenos to use a body harness along with the tether in the yard and to sterilize both dogs. We never abused them. We never neglected them. We always made sure the gates were closed. We always made sure that Moreno says after the dogs came back from ACS, she noticed behavioral changes. They, it's like if they snapped, they snapped on all of us. She says in the days leading up to the attack, the family talked about getting rid of the dogs. Let's, let's just give them back to ACS. He was the one that said that. He's like, let's just let's give them back to ACS. You know, it's too much for us. I want closure for the family. It should have never happened. But my husband is not at fault. All dogs involved in the attack have since been euthanized. Christian Moreno is facing two felony charges, and his wife tells me his bond is set at over $100,000. Chelsea Torres, News 4, San Antonio.